Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem seven in chapter ten. In this chapter, we talk about rotational motion. As you can see, we need to find the angle of velocity for the second hand, the minute hand, the hour hand for the clock. So how can we do that? First thing, we find the angle of velocity for second hand. So for second hand, we can see if second hand moves. One revolution, it is one minute, agree? Sixty degree. So that means it is wrong. One revolution, sixty uh, second, and one revolution is two pi radius. So then we calculate this equation. We find it's pi over uh, over thirty radius per second, and then we get the final answer. Similarly, we can find the minute hand. For minute hand, a uh, one revolution is six sixty minute. And then we in, input is so that one revolution is two pi radius, one minute is sixty degree, and gets a final answer. The next one, the hour hand. So for hour hand, we can know one revolution is a twelve hour. Do you agree? Yes. And then, and one revolution is two pi radius. And then you can convert one hour to the seconds, and then gets a final answer. The next one asks you find the angle of acceleration in each cases. Then you can see the angle of velocity for the second hand, minute hand, hour hand are constant. It's not connected with the time t, right? So that means the angle of acceleration is zero because the angle of acceleration is a change of the angle of velocity divided by time taking. There is no change on the angle of velocity. Thank you.